Hello friends, in this lecture, we are going to learn about what is known as public key certification. And you will find that this is one of a very important concept to, for providing public key encryption. So let's see what it is. So the motivation first, so Trudy plays a pizza prank on Bob. Okay, so what she does so Trudy creates an email, okay, email order. She sends an email order to the pizza store. Dear pizza store, please deliver to me four pepperoni pizzas, okay. Thank you, Bob, okay. So she spoofs, okay, so this is called spoofing. So Trudy spoofs Bob and she sends an email that, okay, please send me four pepperoni pizzas, okay. And I'm Bob, okay. Then she truly signs the order with her private key. Okay, she tells that okay, this is my private key. I'm signing this with my private key. Okay, so that you can authenticate me. And she also sends her public key. So truly sends this order and she sends the pizza store with her public key. And she says that okay, that public key is of Bob's. Okay, so this is faking. Bob okay she says that okay I'm sending you an order she tells to the pizza store in an email and she signs it with her private key okay and she also sends the public key to the pizza store saying that okay this public key is of Bob then what will happen this person pizza store person he has the message K T M the order okay now this is signed with the private key of Trudy and Trudy is also giving him her public key which is KT plus in that email and now what will happen she is saying this is the public key of Bob okay now the pizza store person tries to decrypt this message and he says that okay the message is the same so this person is bob itself okay he is very happy that his pizza store is running really fine and he sends those pizza okay so pizza store verifies the signature and then delivers four pepperoni pizzas to bob he's very happy okay so these are hot pizzas this pizza man says that okay today i have sold four pizzas in just first few minutes okay and Bob, he suddenly sees that, okay, what is this prank? Okay, so who has ordered this pizza? He says that he hasn't ordered. This man says that, no, you have ordered. I have your pub, I have authentication too. So has the public key cryptography failed? Okay, so because he verified it also that, okay, the, it was signed by private key and it was decrypted by the public key so where is the thing going wrong okay so let's try to see and then this problem how we can solve so there must be a certification authority why because he should so if bob is there and someone says that this is his public key though both the person his information and his key should be binded together okay which means there should be some authority which says that okay this is the person and it is this is his public key it is not that okay anyone will say that it this is bob's public key then i will take it there should be some central authority okay and that is the certification authority ca which binds the public key to a particular entity which is a person or a router whatever okay so this entity is now registered with its public key with the certification authority he provides proof of identity okay he provides the proof of identity to ca and then what happens ca creates so he provides that okay this is bob i am bob his passport whatever he has now he knows that okay this person is really bob and then he binds this public key he gives him a public key and creates a certificate binding e to its public key so now his public key is bind bound with his 
information certify certificate contains is public key digitally signed by ca okay so his public key is now digitally signed by c and what is digital signature it tells that okay ca is uh, authorizing that okay it is public key of that entity e so he is promising that when you are taking the public key of bob it is really the same person bob which you are thinking okay so what he does he signs the digital signature the ca certificate certification authority signs it with his private key okay so that it becomes a digital signature okay and everyone trusts the certification authority and he is not going to fake or do anything mischievous so what happens he signs the public key of bob okay with the kca minus now everyone has the public key of the ca so now you can what you can do kca plus and you can get the private the public key of bob okay and now it is trusted it is known that okay this is the public key of bob itself and no one can fake it so when i take that public key it should be digitally signed by the certification authority and all of the people abide by this particular agent so when alice wants bob's public key okay so i want the bob's public key so gets bob's certificate so she will get the bob's certificate from bob or elsewhere okay so i will get his public key and apply cs public key to bob's certificate so there is a certificate which is basically kca minus kb of bob I will get this one. This is called the certificate. And how will I now get the public key of Bob? I will apply K C A plus, which is the public key of the certification authority. And from here, I will get K B, which is the public key of public key of Bob. Okay, so. digital signature is done by the ca and i get bobs key so now you cannot fake trudy cannot fake that okay that okay she sent uh, she what she did she encrypted the message with kt minus message and then she herself provided the kt plus saying that this is bobs public key and because there was no certification authority so he just thought it is the same and there was a prank so now because of the certification authority and the binding between the entity and its public key you cannot fake like that so i hope you understand this thanks a lot